In this clip, I'll review the unit circle and some of the basic things you're going to need to know to evaluate a trig expression. So if you look at the top left, where I give you a quarter of the unit circle, um, and just a reminder, the unit circle is a circle that has a radius of 1. We have some special ordered pairs that are derived from the fact that the circle has a radius of 1 and from the special right triangles, the 30, 60, 90, and the 45, 45, 90. These are all derived for you in your trig class, so I'm not going to go through that right now. I'm just going to go through these special ordered pairs. This first ordered pair is 1, 0. This point here in orange is 1 to the right of the origin and 0 up. This point over here, I'm skipping up, up top, is 0 over and 1 up. The one that's right in the middle, pi over 4, which is 45 degrees, is root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. And the 30 degree, or pi over 6, we're going over quite a bit and then we're going up just a little. So this is root 3 over 2 and 1 half. And conversely, 60 degrees, we're going over a little, but up a lot. So this is 1 half and root 3 over 2. So those are your basic ordered pairs that you use to answer questions about any benchmark angle anywhere on the unit circle. If you're in a quadrant other than quadrant 1, you just have to appropriately place a negative sign if needed. So in terms of the negative, we go down to the bottom left here, this little mnemonic, ASTC. This tells us which quadrants are going to be positive for which trig functions. A stands for all, S is for sine, T is for tangent, and C is for cosine. So this represents the places where those respective trig functions are positive. The quadrantal angles are a special set of angles that terminate along an axis. Um, so this is 1, 0, this is 0, 1, this is negative 1, 0, and this is 0, negative 1. And these are sort of in a category unto themselves because you can't take a point, one of these orange points, and drop an altitude and get a right triangle. So much of trigonometry is based on a right triangle, and these are some cases where you really can't do that. So. Uh, that's why they're called quadrantals, and they're, you treat them just a little bit differently. Okay, so here we go. Let's do some of these problems. Um, cosine, the ratio for cosine is x over r. Now, we know that r is 1, because that's the unit circle's radius, and x, the x-coordinate at that position is root 2 over 2. So what we really have is root 2 over 2 over 1, so the answer is just root 2 over 2. Two. Moving over to number two, cotangent of pi over three. Cotangent is x over y. So if we go to the pi over three ordered pair, which is up here, and we do x over y, we get one half over root three over two. The twos cancel out, so we get one over root three, which is really root three over three. Okay, moving to number three. Zero radians. Uh, sine is y over r. r again is always one. That's a no-brainer because it's the unit circle. So if I look over here, or, or here, it doesn't matter, the r value is zero, zero, I'm sorry, the r value is one, the y value is zero. So we have zero over one, which is zero. Cosecant is r over y. It's the reciprocal of sine. r is always 1. So I'm going to go to the ordered pair for pi over 6, and I'm going to find the y value, which is 1 half, and 1 over 1 half is 2. Secant of pi over 2, well the secant of anything is going to be r over x. r is always 1. It's a no-brainer. So I go to pi over 2, which is right here, or 90 degrees, and the x is 0. And 1 over 0 is undefined, so I'm just going to abbreviate that, U-N-D, undefined. 11 pi over 6. Now this one is a little bit tougher. It's the tangent. Tangent is Y over X. Now I know that 11 pi over 6 is in quadrant 4, 
and according to my mnemonic, tangent is going to be negative there. So I'm going to put a negative sign just to start. Now, 11 pi over 6 has the same um, reference angle as just pi over 6. So I can look over here to get my ratio. So y is 1 half, x is root 3 over 2, and I feel like I've done this problem, and I have, just above in number 2. So the answer is going to be negative root 3 over 3. The second set of problems has us do the same sort of thing but backwards. We're looking at a specified interval from 0 to 2 pi, and we're asked, for which angles for alpha do we get a sign that's negative root 2 over 2? And here's how I think about this. I say, well, sine is negative in quadrants 3 and 4. So I'm going to draw a little picture, a little graph here. One of an angle that terminates in quadrant 3, and one of an angle that terminates in quadrant 4. And the reference angle for uh, sine that gives us root 2 over 2 is 45 or pi over 4. So this is going to be 5 pi over 4, and this is going to be 7 pi over 4. Okay, um, tangent is something positive. Well, I know tangent is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3, so I'm going to draw a little picture. And I know that the reference angle for tangent that's going to give me 1 is, again, 45 or pi over 4. So this one is pi over 4, and this is 5 pi over 4. Now, the next problem is given to me in its secondary, and I feel just more comfortable working with primary, so I'm going to reciprocate. The reciprocal of secant is cosine, and the reciprocal of undefined, which is 1 over 0, is 0 over 1 or 0. So now the problem is a little bit easier for me to deal with. I'm going to figure out where cosine is 0. Now cosine is x over r, and r is always 1. So it's really, in order to get an answer of 0, it's really where is x 0? And x is 0 here at pi over 2, and here at 3 pi over 2. So the answer is, the answer is r, pi over 2, and 3 pi over 2. Okay, moving to our last question. Again, it's given to us as a secondary trig function, so I'm going to reciprocate, giving me the sine of alpha is equal to root 3 over 2. Now, sine is positive in quadrants 1 and 2, and the reference angle is 60 or pi over 3. So the two answers are going to be pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. So hopefully this brings back to your memory some of these basic ordered pairs that are associated with the benchmark angles that will help you get to get the, the ratio. At this time, do any problem that's associated with clip number 10.